go hey guys it has been a, a dull weekend i know because i haven't been streaming so uh first of all just welcome back to the stream we're gonna try something completely different today and uh, that is this new game called plane mechanic simulator looks kind of intriguing it's a uh, uh I believe world war two uh, obviously the, the plane in front of it looks like world war one but i feel like it's supposed to be world war two based i think this is just like a really like early stage airplane that you get to work on or something so anyway um the idea is you're an uh, airplane mechanic in the one of the world wars possibly world war one but we'll see um and you kind of work your way up uh to make, uh, repairing uh, more complex uh planes as you go so it should be kind of could be kind of cool um i have enjoyed in the past uh, car mechanic simulator and it's kind of in the same vein as that so and by the way this 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 uh, game is super on sale right now it's early access uh, on Steam, they're giving you, at least they gave me, I, I'm assuming they gave it to everybody, a 50% off coupon for this game that is that is valid until the 21st, so it's only a few more days, um, and the plane already is like 10 bucks, so you can get this you know, this game right now for 5 bucks. it's like 505 I think, so if you're thinking about it, real cheap, you might as well try it, so... Uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, hello Kelsey, I see you there in uh, chat, as well as uh, Rothmuller on a road trip in Utah. <laughs> All right, sounds like fun. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's get into this. So first of all, I want to make sure this is okay. Good, it is working. Why is it coming through this announcement link? Uh, test one two. Okay. Test one two. That's a little weird. I don't know why that's. That's hidden. Okay, so maybe it's fine. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> let's uh, let's get to this and see what's going on. I should send you pics of lost of Las Vegas. You mean Las Vegas? <laughs> you can send me pics of Last Vegas too. I don't I don't know what Last Vegas was, but uh, what is going on? Ooh, Jack's Village information. I'll have to check that out. All right, let's see what's going on here with uh, this game. So I haven't looked at this yet. This is my first uh, intro to this. I'm playing this along with you guys uh, for the first time, so we'll see what, what happens here. Um, I'm assuming controls are very similar to the other play mechanic simulator stuff. Crouch, crawl, zoom. I'm just going to kind of take a look here. Mouse sensitivity. All right, left, run. Okay. Uh... Assembly, inspect, interact space. Okay, that, that's probably helpful. And we can probably just leave all these on at high because my computer, yeah, 118 frames per second. Got a pretty uh, beefy computer, so I think we're okay there. Uh, let's see. If I can... Let's turn the music down a little bit. It's kind of epic, but since I'm streaming, it might be kind of weird. Okay, we don't want to exit. All right. So, game. Alright, we gotta give ourselves... Um... Oh, okay. <laughs> Screws aren't highlighted, no notifications after finishing tasks. You can manually uncheck tasks in notebook. Okay. I'm gonna do expert mode because... I think I'll be more fun. Las, Las Vegas is the California way of saying Las Vegas. It's still not Las Vegas either. It's Las Vegas, L-A-S, not not L-O-S. <laughs> not Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, Las Vegas. <laughs> One of these days you'll get it right. All right, name. <clears throat> we are Mustafa. Expert mode is checked. Start. Rotate that prop. Let's see what this is like. Oh my. Service flight. So 1940, it is World War II. Service flying training school. 
Nethervon Airfield. Welcome to RAF Nethervon. There's a lot of work to do, so let's get straight to it. You see in your notebook that the pilot mentioned power variations in the engine. This looks like a problem with the fuel system. Let's start by opening the right engine cowling. All right. So that's a Tiger Moth. At about 15 minutes after takeoff, the engine started randomly losing power. Had to turn back to land. After flying this, please refuel the aircraft for the next flight tomorrow. After fixing this, sorry. <laughs> Fix the problem with engine power, refuel the aircraft. Okay, inventory, we don't have any inventory, those are the controls, video, audio, yeah, okay, whatever. Alright. Woohoo! Here we go. Man, who needs to run? Man, you walk pretty fast in this thing, dang. Alright, so here's our Tiger Moth. Out here on the airfield. Right cowling, I think is what he said. Yeah, boom. When removing parts, you can rotate the camera with the movement keys. Scrolling the mouse wheel will move the camera closer or further. Pressing the middle mouse button will focus the camera on the cursor. You can also zoom by pressing F to go back to the movement controls. Press the right mouse button. Okay. So, oh, I see. There we can zoom in. Cool. Get close. So they said, I think it's the problem with the fuel, something or other. So there's the fuel filter. And so we can inspect somehow. Uh, now let's find the damage part. Switch to inspect mode. Three. All right. To check status of part, click on it. Hold for about a second. All right. Fuel filter's fine. What else can we click on here? Uh, pressure filter. Let's try that. Fine. Hmm. What could be the problem? Timing gears. Carburetor. Damaged. Aha! Got a bad carb. Uh, air intake's fine. Induction pipe. Probably fine. Okay, so it's probably just the carburetor. It's probably what's going on here. So, okay. So, let's go back to... Whoops. Oh, we gotta take this off first, probably. Whoa, now. Oh. Oh, it's doing it for me. Okay. this comes apart at. Oh, down here? Yep, there it is. Yeah, in expert mode, it's a little difficult. I'm not used to working on aircraft engines. <laughs> and there should be one more back here. There we go. Aha! Alright, some parts can be repaired on the spot, others need to be replaced. Go to the workbench, press space to begin repairing the damaged carburetor. Okay. No, 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 get away. How do we get back to... Oh, right click, that's right. Alright, where's the bench? The bench is over here. So, back on screen... Yes, uh, Kelsey, we are... Uh, we are going to be back on the streaming schedule this week. Carburetor damage, repairable, yes, okay. Look at that oil can. It's like Wizard of Oz over here. Repairing parts, you'll save the spare ones for others, which will contribute to your overall score. Okay, I missed that. To start the repair, click on one of the yellow points, then press and hold the left mouse. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the goal is to release the button, the oil levels within the green zone. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> so much for that. Okay. There we go. He said oil can. This is kind of cool. What does that noise mean? If you fail to repair a part, you always replace it. <laughs> just fail it. I stopped it too early. You have one chance to get the oil right? Go to the truck and fill out the replacement form. Don't forget to sign it, too. Okay, go to the truck. Well, that sucked. Hey, Chris. How you doing? 
Uh, replace broken parts. Yeah, carburetor, I suck. All right. Sign the form. Oh. <sighs> Best signature ever. All right. Hey, there's the seventh month. Seven months for Chris. Thank you so much, sir. That was awesome. That is, I didn't miss what that said. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't important. All right, so we need to go to assembly mode. I think that's two. Yeah, there we go. All right, we got to put those screws back. Let's zoom in here. And screw that back in. There's one hiding over there. And one right there. All right. This is a weird one because it like does all the screws for me, or some of them anyway. I get all of them, I guess. All right, I think that's all I took off. So let's go back to that. Whoops. Seal up the cowling. All right, now let's refuel the aircraft. The fuel tank and tiger mounts between the top wings. You'll need a ladder to access. Go to the ladder and pick it up. Go to the ladder and pick it up. Oh, ladder. Ladder. Ladder not. Yeah, it's just right. All right. Climb the ladder. Ooh. Can I fall off the ladder? <laughs> I guess I'm kind of in the wrong place to do this, now that I think about it. How do I go back down the ladder? Oh, like that, okay. No, I don't want to take the ladder. There we go. Let's put it back here. This is cool, because you really have to do all this stuff. It's not like the, uh, um, in some where it's like, oh, it just does it for you. Oh, climb the ladder, right, space. Well, that kind of worked. <laughs> if that's really awkward, where are you supposed to put the ladder to get to that thing appropriately? <laughs> oh, thank you for the 10 out of 10 on the signature. I thought so. Uh, okay, that's not really helpful. Yeah, we climbed that ladder, all right? Okay. Um, hmm. Hi, Miss. Hey, Kramer, how you doing? Good. I went flying again today. Oh yeah. Hey, Miss. Where'd you go? Uh, we flew from Hooks, which is an airport near Bush Intercontinental, to New Braunfels, which is near Austin. Okay. What uh, air back. what kind of aircraft? It is a Bonanza B thirty six. Oh nice. Okay. Am I not in disassembly? I must not. oh I'm not, I'm in there. Aha. Alright, remove the fuel cap. Now grab the fuel hose from the Bowser and insert it into the tank. Then get back to the Bowser controls from the valve. Okay. Get, get rid of the stupid tips. No. Go. Ugh. Oh, I see. Now I can do... Oh, I gotcha. Clever. Okay, but that doesn't... Oh, yeah, that's right. Right click. So, is this the Bowser? I'm guessing. Looks like a fuel thing. Number five. So, where's the hose? Uh. <laughs> uh huh. Wait, what's this thing? Nope, that's a that's a toolbox. Oh, maybe it's what is this thing? Ah, yeah, that's a fuel pump. Okay. Pick up hose. Um. <laughs> Hello. That's not very long hose. Can I move the Bowser? I should be able to move it. Ah, there we go. Oil Bowser. Dr 
dragging my Bowser, don't mind me. Alright. Now give me the hose, okay. Climb the ladder. Okay, how did I... Uh, do I need to switch to assembly mode for that? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem to want to go into the hole. What's up, Mike? So what in the heck are we... <laughs> Not flying anything! We're trying to play this uh, plane mechanics simulator. 30 more weeks until summer break. <laughs> Start the countdown. <laughs> happy President's Day. Yes, happy President's Day to you, Brian Grimm. Uh, speaking of which... It's saw that expo thing we should probably remind people we got the expo coming um okay so what am i doing wrong here space that's the propeller um how do i get rid of the thing put it back on the bowser what hose away Do I have to go to inspect, maybe? Sure looks like it's pretty full of fuel to me. Interesting. I wonder if we have to be in inspect mode. Maybe that's the key. Maybe. Can't get it that way. That or the Bowser simply won't reach yet. Uh, I don't know. It's not a very long hose. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination. Let's try it in inspect mode. Three. No, 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 it doesn't do anything. Oh. There we go. No. I still can't do it. What the heck? Um, hmm. Right, Gray, you might, might be able to go to the expo. I'll figure it out. If you're flying out of the Bay Area, let me know. I'll see if I can get out of there. Yeah, so I'm not flying out of the Bay Area. I'm actually flying out of L.A., so... So what were you gonna say, uh, Kramer? Who was the one that w who got the game early? The what? The, I heard someone like a stream a week or so ago. They were playing this game because they got it early. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, because someone mentioned it on my channel. Um, I don't remember who that was actually. Uh, what in the heck? What am I? Okay. How do I F? Let's see. F one is help. Assembly mode, check part, extend, extend, wait, extend, oh, extend that, <laughs> never mind, uh, okay, wait, how, is there a button for showing the tips, no, if I have finals I can go, but if I don't have any, I, wait, oh, if you have finals you can't go, I assume that's what you mean, yeah, um, hmm, Okay. Look, we'll see here. Get over back in the Bowser. Wait, show me the tips. Oh. Wait, why won't you? There we go. Insert into the tank space. When then get back to the Bowser. Yeah, see, I can't insert into the tank though. It won't let me. Okay, maybe it's in a bad place. Let me try moving the Bowser. Let's come over. Let's get it closer. Whoa. I'm trying to think where the closest spot to get this thing would be. Behind the wing? Well, no, it said do it in the front, so... Okay, climb the... really? It said come from the front. Like, you would think the back would make more sense, honestly, because of where you are, but... Um... Hmm. Let's 
Fresno State a good baseball team when you were there? Uh, it was okay. It, I think they got better after I left. Typical. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they've won a few championships. Um, okay, I'm pressing spacebar. It's not doing anything. So either I'm, I'm too far away or the hose is too short. Which that hose is like just tall enough to get up into the air. Like, I don't understand how I can... Is that really the issue? I mean, maybe maybe you is. lift it up onto the ladder. I don't... How would I do that? This giant thing? I don't think so. Okay, let me try... I'm gonna try something here. Okay, let me move the... Right there. There we go. That's about as close as I can get it. And still nothing. I can reach the cap to put it on. But I can't... Just try putting the Bowser on the other side of the wing. Oh, that's a good idea. You are... That is a really good idea, actually. Okay. Yes. Can't believe I didn't think of that. <laughs> Brilliant, Sean. I bet you that's the solution. Only really and if it works. Well, yeah. Of course, then I can't get up to the ladder. Really? Well, maybe it's not brilliant. <laughs> Wait, stop doing that. Um, yeah, I was actually thinking on the side, um, lay the hose up on the wings. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I got you now. From behind the aircraft. My only issue is I don't think I'm going to be able to go around the aircraft with the hose. Because I don't think it's long enough. Because I have to grab the... Stop it. Yeah, I can't get around yeah, there. Yeah, turn the Bowser around 180. Okay. Come on, get... There we go. He's not going to let you do that, so... Same thing. Would it let you stand on top of the Bowser? Um, no. This doesn't make any sense. What the heck? When I finally figure this out, it's going to be like, oh, duh. And I'm going to. Okay. Stop zooming in. Okay. Let's see. Here. Pick up the Bowser. Let's come back here. It clearly has to be by the ladder. So the trick is to get it as close to the ladder and yet... Zoom back there. Pick up the... What does that say? Pick up the... Huh? What? Pick up what? Wait, right before you get up, it says pick up the something, and I don't think you got the right Bowser. Well, it says oil Bowser, but it's the only Bowser that's around. But that is a good point. Maybe it's the wrong Bowser. Is there another one? I mean, there's this thing, but it doesn't seem to be... I can't really interact with it. This looks more and more like a fueling type deal, if I'm honest. 
So I'm supposed to get in the truck and move it, but I don't think so. Well, let's look around and make sure that's the only thing here. I can't go beyond that, okay. It's clearly not going over there. That's the inventory. Yeah, this is the only other thing here, but I can't seem to interact with it. But that's a good point. If this is oil, and it, I mean, what's that it was mean? fuel. What was fuel? Uh, this, this is fuel. The truck. No, the truck. Yeah, the truck. Yeah, but I can't do anything with it. It said oh. pick a fuel hose. Oh, right there it says. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> much more sense right now. There, pick up a hose. Face. Yep. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, oh, now I feel like an idiot. All right. <laughs> insert it. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. Is something happening? <laughs> oh, that's right. I have to go back down to the thing. And... It was an old guy. <laughs> yeah, it was. Bowser controls. So I now is to put the hose back in the Bowser and close the fuel. Hook. Okay. That seems like a lot go, of work with the little amount of fuel you put in. I know, right? That's what I was talking about. I'm like, what the heck? There's like, doesn't need any fuel. But whatever. There's a war on. We gotta give him every last drop, I guess. Yeah, tanker. <laughs> war on the tanker. <laughs> fuel cap back on. Now open the notebook on task page and sign it to end the mission. The fact that the end the mission at any time provide you install the parts. Keep in mind though, if you're not finishing tasks, have consequence some of severe. <laughs> okay. Put the hose away. Okay. Let's uh, let's finish the job before we end the task. Huh? Let's let's move move this back over here. And let's move the Bowser. The oil Bowser. Only moves, that's right. Hey, I'm new. Hey, Fort Doctor, how's it going? Alright. Put that down. Alright, now we'll sign the task sheet. So we go here, task. Sign here to complete the task. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is he encrypted on TeamSpeak? Uh, no. I think he said he's on something with somebody else. Fourth Doctor, two months in a row on Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the... What? I mean, not all parts screwed in. Air intake pipe. There were no more screws to screw! Ah, oh, you piece of crap. Alright. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Alright, so that plane's a, a ticking time bomb. That's awesome. Alright, continue career. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid tip thing led me astray. Made me think our job's done. Jerk. Something about the air intake. Okay. Yeah, command has finally ordered a new set of wheels for each aircraft. Please replace them in mine. Replace all the wheels and refuel the aircraft. Okay. We know how to do that. Well, we know how to replace, do the fuel. <laughs> all right, we got to replace the wheels first of all. So let's come down here. And we'll take the wheel cap off. How much is um this game? Five bucks. Oh really? Yeah, you should get it. <laughs> there's a fifty percent off. It's like it's actually eleven dollars. But there's a 15% off thing right now for some reason, and Steam is giving everyone a 50% off coupon for this game specifically that expires on the 21st. So it ends up being like five dollars and five cents. So yeah. I mean, I just so happen to have twenty dollars in my account. Well, there you go. Oh, there's one more. I'm sorry, well, this isn't coming off. All right, so we got the hub. There's a castle nut right there, um, which I can't take off. Why not? I have to jack this thing up or something? Maybe. As you can see, the positive... Yeah, I'll go ahead and pick up the front jack. Of course, there's a jack. Nope, stop it. 
Is there any word on like expanding game, like where there'll be more aircraft? I would think so. I mean, this is you get you get access to better aircraft as you gain experience. I don't know if it's ever going to go beyond World War II type aircraft. But um, okay, something about a jack and where is it? Oh, right there. They'll probably do it like in the car mechanic simulator. Yeah, probably. Whoops, nope, screw that. Oh, I gotta actually turn it, that's awesome. Come on, heave! Oh, it becomes hard to turn, that's cool. Come on, eh, eh. Oh, wheels are off the ground, okay. Alright. Take the castle nut off, and there's the wheel. Boom goes the dynamite. Alright, let's take the other one off. No. What? You just... What was that no? <laughs> I don't know what said that, or why. Alright, and... Okay. To replace the part, just go to the truck, fill it, replace the form, don't forget to sign it. That's right, with my epic signature. I start drawing things. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go down to put back on mode. Put that castle nut back on. Pub cat back to draw moves. Oh, that's a good idea. I like where your head's at. downloading it so I'm gonna play the game while watching you play the game. Nice. Well now it'll be easy for you because you've already seen the mistakes that I made so you can not do those things. Pick up the jack, we'll move the jack over here. Put the jack down put the jack down. What the heck? Okay, I guess I'll put it right there. Fine. Uh, <laughs> Alright that was all to do so we'll sign the task list. Worst moose ever. <laughs> it's actually kind of like a yoke. Replace the wheels! What do you mean, no? I did that! Oh no. <laughs> what the heck? Did I just put the old wheels back on? Is that what happened? I'm confused. I'll make sure not to do that either. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> not sure if I can buy that since my wife agreed to get for me to get P3D. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's restart the task. Yes, let's try it again because clearly, clearly I bungled that. Piece of crap. All right. Yes, okay, please. I'll be right back. I gotta go check on stuff in the oven. All right. I also forgot to refuel the aircraft, which it probably needs all of like a pint of fuel, but you know whatever. All right. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna get this thing. We're gonna move it over here. Put it in place. Yes. Yeah. Don't tell Logitech. But so um, you know, how I told you I'm getting my new, my new yoke. Uh huh. Did so it start it, working? It's coming. No, oh. it's coming with um, the yoke and throttle quadrant, so I've already taken apart the yoke. Okay. And then the new, the new, it's like I need to destroy it before they put a new, send me a new one. Okay. So there's like three sets of three wires in the throttle quadrant just for each axis. axis. Uh huh. So I cut those, and then you have to like send a picture for proof. Okay. And I'm gonna try and solder them back together <laughs> so they work again. And then I'll have two throttle quadrants. Nice. Alright. Okay. 
Gotta go get the new wheels. Sign for the wheels. Okay. Two. Okay, but see, it didn't give me an option of which wheel to put on. So, how do I know that's a new wheel? I don't. And that makes me nervous. Uh, let me check the inventory. I have two wheels and two wheel caps. Oh, wait. Damaged. Uh, wait. Wait. Get, 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 get. Did you not give me the new wheels? Wheel two. Oh, I have to push the check mark. Ah, oh, jerk. Okay. That's what I did. I signed for nothing. <laughs> okay, so now let's see. Inventory. Pristine. There we go. Oh, that was the problem. Okay. All right. We live and learn. Okay, one wheel. Braces on Tuesday. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I was on a liquid diet for the next two days. Yeah. Alright, now that we know how to refuel the stupid aircraft. Uh, ah. Climb the ladder. Cap off. Let me guess, this probably has plenty of fuel on it too, right? Kramer coming in for the uh, subscribe for three months. Braces stink, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime, Kramer. Ah, this one actually does need fuel. Okay, good. I feel better about that at least. Uh, okay, there we go. Get down. Pick up the hose. Come on, thing. Insert the hose. Back down the thing, maybe. Go down the thing. And Bowser controls. Feels up fast. Like. All right. Give me the hose. Fuel cap back in. Switch back to that. Put the hose away. Put the ladder away. Okay, now. Let's see. Tasks. Place the wheel. Check mark, check mark. Do I have to wait for the subscription to actually? Expires at a certain time, or what are you talking about? What the what, Twitch it, subscription? Um, yeah, well, it it'll tell you, you. You can go in to see your subscriptions and see when the subscription ends. And but yeah, subscription is in February eighth, two thousand nineteen today, but it will not let me hit the subscribe button. Probably because today is the last day of the subscription, so it probably won't let you do it until tomorrow. That'd be my guess. I'm not an expert, but that would be my guess. Yeah, I've had braces too. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> this time you have to fill your aircraft with new oil. I know where that is now. This works just like refueling, but you'll need to pull the oil bowser close to the aircraft yourself. The oil inlet is behind the left cowling. Okay. Are so, you in expert mode? I am. Because I don't do anything half. <laughs> Refuel the oil and refuel the aircraft. Okay. So behind the left cowling, 
This is the left cowling. Um, is, it un is it inside the left cowling? Oh, I bet that... No, that's a Magneto. Nope, there's the oil tank crap right there. Beautiful. Bingo. Alright. Cool. Let's get the oil Bowser. Come to me, oil Bowser. We're going to Bowse some oil. Ha. Feeling about the max point may result in damaging some parts. Got it. Okay, so we have to be careful. Bowser controls. Wow, there's like no oil in this thing. Alright, we don't want to overfill it, so. Alright. Pull out the. Uh the guy there. Put the oil cap back on. Beautiful. Close the... maybe. Guess we have to put that back first, maybe. Yep, okay. Alright. And let's get you out of the way. Back to your home, Oil Bowser. Ah! Oh! I'm burying it! <laughs> that was awkward. You know what? Just stay there. Uh oh. I'm stuck. I think I broke it. There we go. <laughs> this is a bunny. I'm a bunny? What? What? What's happening? Why am I a bunny? Because you're jumping around. Oh. Oh, don't rotate that far. Okay. Gently, gently. There we go. Don't know your own strength with the Bowser. I know, right? I'm a moose. I suppose I should have seen that coming. I love the sound effects in this game, it's great. Put the hose back. Put the ladder back. Gonna be the best dang mechanic in the RAF right here. Alright, I think that takes care of that. Refill with oil, yes. Refuel the aircraft, yes. Sign on the dotted line. Beautiful. Yeah. Perfect job. Booyah. We are awesome. Continue career. So I have to get a 500 points to get aircraft in first class, apparently. Or aircraftman first class. Continue career. Oh, yeah. Alright, refuel the oil, fix the problem with the oil system, and refuel the aircraft. Seems to be something wrong with the new oil. Oh, yeah, it's the oil's fault. Pressure is jumping all over the place. I have arranged for the oil to be checked and the tank cleaned again. Refill it and find the cause of the problem. Okay. So let you come when I had them because I needed it for school to help my ADHD. Ah. I don't remember if I'd shoot gum when I had braces or not. I'm sure I did. 
Okay, so we got a problem with the oil system, so let's uh, move the cowling, first of all. And we're gonna have to inspect, so. Oil cap is fine. What else can we expect? That's the bottom of the cowling. Uh, where's that going? Oh, that's like an overflow, okay. So, let's see, that's a magneto, oh, that's an oil filter, that's probably the problem right there. Damaged, yep, okay. Pressure filter, just check a few things. Oh, that's damaged too. Timing gears unit, it's fine. Magneto's gonna be fine. Left ignition wire is going to be fine. Yeah, okay. All right, so I think we found our problem. Pressure filter and the oil filter. So we've got two damaged pieces. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. But I do want to open this cowling as well, because there's some stuff over here that I think will be easier to get to, perhaps. Nope, that's timing gears. I don't want to take care of that. Pressure filter. Do I have to take this off? Oh. Okay, where are the screws for this? Oh, it's that thing. Haha! <laughs> Top engine cowling. Hmm. Seriously, I have to take that off? Ooh. Okay, I have to take the spinner off. Oh. I have to take the other cowling off. Yep. I think I have to take the propeller off to get to that thing, so... We'll just start dissembling the engine, how about? When I got a perfect job on the apart. one that you struggled on. Of course you did, but you watched me do it, so I don't really think that's fair. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking that off now, but... Maybe I have to. Alright, here we go. Front engine cowling. Clearly there's something that's holding it on. What? No, I was talking about the other door. Yeah, the cowling door that you got open. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. I'm probably doing a lot more than I need to. Oh, well, it looks cooler doing it this way. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were right. Uh, what is it connected to? Right where? Okay, down, down on the crossbar there. Ah, good eye. Good eye. On the frame member that the cowling rests on yeah. underneath. No, I think I'm getting it right now. Yeah. Yep, good eye. Good eye, all right. Sweet, okay. Huzzah, check out this. This is cool. Oh, we got four cylinders? Yep. It's an upside down car engine. <laughs> upside down, flat four, straight four. Okay, so now we can get to fun things over here. So, oil filter, let's see. All right, and the pressure filter. Probably that guy. And where might the rest of the pressure filter be connected at? Over here? Well, that's part of it. Uh, let's see, what else are we missing there? No. Huh. Okay. Not those two. Or those guys. I 
Okay. You guys see anything I'm missing? Like, running out of bolts. Okay, it's disconnecting there. It's got this bar. This is all part of the connection. That's part of that. So we'll need those, you know. Oh, there we go. Found them. You know it'd be cool. Hiding little suckers, alright. Huh? You know it'd be cool? What'd well, be cool? If, like, everybody who had this game, there's, like, a big B-52 that every, like, all, everybody could go and, like, work on, like, each individual part, and you could all see each other. That would be cool. I really hope at some point the play mechanic stuff gets to jets, because that would be really awesome. Alright, let's see if we can repair any of these. So, ah, Then we can simulate maintenance on the airline. Yeah, see? See? I like where Sean's head is at. All right, so our uh, damage, they're both repairable. Okay, that's good. So oil filter, let's start with that. All right. Goody. Okay. Oh, dang it. Star failed. Man, when you get those really tiny ones, it goes down so fast, it's hard to get it right. Dang it. Okay. This game is actually pretty fun. I know, right? Whew, that was close. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Dang it! That's <laughs> such a tiny little margin! That's rude. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're buying new parts. Fine. I suck at repairing. Uh, oil filter. Yes. I'm gonna need the other one, too. Am I ignoring the damaged pressure filter? Is that what's happening? Because... Um... Because according to my inventory, <laughs> pressure filter, oh, it says it's fine. I thought it said repair failed. Yeah, and that says it's red. Oh, maybe I guess it's good enough. Uh, okay. It's weird. Take it off for nothing? Fine. Alright, let's put the pressure filter back. Probably not from Fram. Probably not. How you doing, Captain Tim? Mildly amused. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> hey, Tim. Even crew. Aircraft mechanic simulator, but no, we don't know what we're doing. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Question is, do they make you get in and start it up after you fixed it? Uh, not yet. I don't know if you do that at some point, but that has not been the case yet. Although I already did, uh, I, I forgot, what did I, what did I not do? I, I think I replaced the tires with the old tires, and whatever it was was something the pilot couldn't overcome, and I was officially, like, fired. <laughs> oh, so they don't make you actually fly it after you repair it? No, no, I make the pilots do that, so I'm just the... the uh, what do you call it? Grease jock. Mechanic, here. yeah. Uh, do I have to... This is why I would never build an airplane that I had to fly. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay, so... Let's see here. Oh, there we go. oh that's why I've got to get the... Or did it do that for me? Oh, it did. Okay. Alright, so that's back in. So I guess I can't close it to put this stuff back on, I guess. Ah! Okay. 
Um, good. Is it not? Did it not put the pin back? In? Okay, what did I do differently on this? Oh, no, I didn't do either one of them. That would be why. Okay, yeah, bring that back. Now, where do I put the, the hinge in at? Stop. Where do you refill the oil? It's, um, right here. <laughs> left, left cowling. Um, just, uh, you have to open it up and you'll see a little port right there. Okay. Okay, you put that on. Now, I need you to stay on. There's a hinge that goes in here and... I don't know why it's not letting me put that back. Like a piano hinge? Kind of, yeah, it just slides through there, yeah. But I'm assuming it's not letting me put it back because I can't, if I step away from this, it it goes away. <laughs> yeah, so what the heck? Did I take something else off in here? That's why it's not letting me put that back. This is all back together. All these bolts are back on. Maybe I have to put this on first. Okay, Kelsey. We are very amused, yeah. I'll bet. Okay, so we gotta put the bolt on there, and there's one there. And one there, and one there. Okay, now let's try this. Ah, there it is. Aha! Hey, Sean, you see what he's missing? Hey, Jim. Do you see what he's missing? The propeller? <laughs> Not duct yet. tape. No duct, duct tape. tape. <laughs> Definitely missing duct tape. When in doubt, duct tape. That's right. You'd be surprised. Hey, Captain Tim, do you use uh, sling? Do I use what? X plane. X plane eleven. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. The King Air, the C90 and X plane. Uh, the one from uh, Carinado or the the one that comes with. The one that comes with it. I think I started it up and then parked it. Well, I've got a problem. The um, cabin pressurization. Uh, you got your bleeds turned on? It's on the co-pilot side, lower left panel. Okay. What else? Uh, you gotta set the, uh, your, uh, cabin pressurization selector. Alright, let's put oil in her. Awfully big oil tank. Right. Okay. It's washer, washer fluid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hose away. It's nice that that's pressurized. Exactly. Yeah, I'll have to find that switch. I see where the, you can set the cabin pressure, on, but there's a switch I'm missing somewhere. There's also, uh, oh jeez, hang on, let me fire it up. Alright, so you're good. And there's no mention of it in the manual. I think I have to fuel it too. Of course not. Why is that in my inventory? Hey, cool, what is that? I think that's the, I think that's the cap for this. Get a Got, part left over? Yeah. Well, you know, you're not doing it right if you don't have spare parts left over. Okay, that's take it up. Oh. You are working for the government. I know, right? The British government, no less. Uh, well, okay. No, I think... Interesting. Why is that in my inventory? Oh, now it's what not. It's in your inventory. I didn't see it. No, well, it, it was the cap for this, but now it's not showing up. So, apparently... Not? I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, the whole point of that was to get to my task list. 
All right, so we refueled the oil. We fixed the problem with the oil system, so we think. And oh, we have not refueled the aircraft yet. We got to do that. That's right. So let's uh, move. The... I'm on the same one as you. Oh, nice. I did not say climb the ladder. I wanted to take the ladder. Thank you very much. <laughs> Somewhere there's an RAF pilot going, not me. That's right. <laughs> and he there's would be a fuel bowser. He would be smart. Uh, let's see. One. Fuel cap off. Okay. Hold up. Yeah, Hold up. I just monkey see monkey do. Yeah, fill the uh, forward uh, cockpit too while you're at it. No, oh, fill. You said fill the forward cockpit. Is that what you said? Yeah, drop a little fuel in it. <laughs> and a match. <laughs> nope. Stop climbing the ladder, you imbecile. All right, now I believe it is finito. Uh, at some point, Moose, I may have to pick your brain about graphic settings and P3D. Not tonight, of course, but at some point, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Happy to help you out with that. Uh, refill the aircraft. And I believe we're done. Sign the work so no one knows it's me. Okay, I think <laughs> I found it, Jim. Fix the problem with the oil system. Good. There you go. Fuel the There's aircraft. There's two switches right above the uh, cap and pressure setting. One says elevator tram, and the other says um, I can't make it out. But should be three up there, but okay. Yeah. Fix the propeller, refuel the aircraft. During the morning check, I noticed that the propeller isn't tracking correctly. Please fix the problem. All right, fix the propeller, refuel the aircraft. Got it. I can help with that. I'm an expert, supposedly. It's like a wooden prop, isn't it? It is. Why wouldn't it track correctly? I have no idea. <laughs> I think the pilot's uh, off his trolley, but okay. Nah, just slap a wedge in there. That's right. Good, they would. I need that prop. Actually, I suppose I probably should have. Uh, let me inspect the prop and make sure it's. Propeller is fine. Oh. Oh, it's the, the hub that's damaged. Okay. That, that makes more sense. So, what did he hit? Yeah, good question. All right, take the uh, center bolt thing out. All right, anything else damaged in here while I'm at it? Like the crankshaft? No, it's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Front plate? Fine, okay. All right, so let's see. Is this repairable, maybe? No. All right, so go over to our truck o plenty air screw hub. Give me that. I will sign for that. <laughs> and... and let's just make sure that is a yes. It is good. Okay. Pull it back on. to refuel it, apparently. I've got to leave in just a couple minutes. Okay. Then we could talk about him. 
Exactly. I can still watch the stream, though. <laughs> yeah, but you can't defend yourself. Well, not verbally, but through texting, yeah. <laughs> Alright. That was almost empty. Exactly. Too easy. Something's gonna be wrong. I'm gonna get fired. Got a light? Alright, we fixed the propeller and we refueled the aircraft. Signed my life away. Yeah. Yeah. Booyah. Another perfect job. Get closer to that first class. I heard all the girls are gonna flirt with him. <laughs> that didn't work for me when I had braces, let me tell you, but that was probably just other things. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of landings today. Make sure that the undercarriage is in good condition. Check the undercarriage. Refuel the aircraft. All right. All right, plane. Let's check your undercarriage. Uh, can I check the undercarriage? Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, can't check the wheel. Oh, damaged wheel. Okay. Let's come around here. Let's check the other wheel. Damaged. Pressure leg is fine. And I can't check anything else. Alright. Well, the wheels are a problem. The wheel cap's okay. Can't imagine what the problem would be. Okay, yeah, wheel cap's fine. So we need some new tires. Alright. Well, that I can help you with. Let's get our jack. Yeah. All right, I gotta head out. See you. All right, see you, Kramer. All right. Quiet you. Uh. Turn your like prop and cough. It goes real fast until you get weight on it, then it slows down. I know, isn't that cool? All right, got the one wheel off. See, I highly doubt that's going. To yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can repair wheels. I think I just have to replace them, but I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah. I wouldn't even try. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine there'd be a way to do that, but you never know when it's a game like this. Wheels, two of them. I will sign. And we will replace. There's gotta be a way to like drop all the the bolts. And then you're going to be like, oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Hockey puck. I said the F dash 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 word. Plane back down. Grab that sucker. Take a look at the tail skid too. Take a look at the what? The tail skid. Oh, good call. Good call. Good call. Let's make sure that's okay. Oh, good call. Look at that. I would completely overlook that. All right. Now, the question is, how do I... Hmm. Probably have to jack... Oh, there's a... Wait. Is that what that is? Oh, it is. It is the small jack. Look at that. Oh. Look at my man's strength. All right. 
It's actually not that heavy. Yeah, I would imagine not. <laughs> I've lifted the end of a Cessna 172 before. It's really not much. Just the way they're balanced. Yeah, the steerman the same way. Alright, probably something up here. Oh, there's another one. Three of them, okay. Uh, we missed some. Oh. Do the other side too. Got it. Okay. Now, oops. Give me that. Get, get, get away. Uh, no. Still not repairable. Okay. I need a new tail skid, son. Boom. Oh. Did I actually sign for that just now? I guess kind of. <laughs> like, made my mark. together now? I think so. Okay. Alright, now we gotta refuel the aircraft. Be ready. So I'll catch you guys later. All right, see you, Sean. Bon appetit. Uh, what were you out of town for? Oh, um, I was at a uh, men's retreat up at Redwood Christian Camp up in uh, Santa Cruz, and it rained most of the time. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, it is San Fran, and boy, it was wet. Oh, you went to San Fran? Nice. Tomorrow I get to go to Anchorage. Oh. That's cool. Check the undercarriage, refuel the aircraft. We did that, and we're ready to sign. Ah. Good. You know, I should have taken this more seriously. It said check the undercarriage. It didn't say do anything about it. True government worker. True union member. Exactly. <laughs> Spark plugs. Ooh, okay. Some elements like the spark plugs are parts of large assemblies that can be removed altogether, which will be covered later. For now, remember that clicking on an assembly once will select it, allowing you to remove its parts. Deselect the assembly with the right mouse button. Okay. We'll see about that. Put the cowl in here. And left engine cover. Stop it. What are you doing? No. Oh, I have to take that. Okay, I see. I got you. Uh, what's holding you on? What is holding you on? Where are your screws, sir? Wait, are you part of this nonsense? Maybe. What is this thing? Oh, that's for the cover, okay. Uh... Oh, wait, hang on. Nope, never mind. Take it back. Yeah, what is holding you on? Oh. 
Aha. Okay, well that was part of it. <laughs> That's obviously not the whole story. Do I have to take this thing off again too? I bet I do. Hang on a second. Something. Can't tell if there's anything screwed into it, though. I definitely can't see it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be letting me get to that point if I have to take that off. There should just be something else that I'm not uh, done yet. You're just doing spark plugs, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get to the spark plugs. <laughs> I got Trans Am, you gotta take the motor out. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Pontiac, same way. Missing a set of... Okay, those screws, hold on. It's gotta be something in the front here, but... Oh. Wait, is there a uh, access thing that I need to get to? No. Hmm. No. That's for that thing. Very peculiar. What am I missing here? Oh, there's one more screw right there. Dang damn it, hide behind the oil line, you jerk. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there what do we you have go. to take off to get to the spark plugs. Well, I need to get the cylinders are down here. And so now I'm trying to f Oh, maybe I didn't need to take them. There's the Cylinder lock assembly. Wait till you have to work on the Merlin. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, what just happened? I don't know what all I just selected. But whatever it was isn't coming off. So that's all along this thing. Okay. Uh, ooh, new aircraft. It looked like no, it's same one. It's just a. I'm messing with the engine. Are you sure the spark plugs are on top? I'm sure because the spark because this is the top of the engine right here. These are the cylinders. They're just this is the crankshaft because the the prop comes out of the crankshaft right here. So, engines 101. These are the spark plugs right here, and they're part of the spark plug engine assembly something or other. And when I clicked on it. Oops. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Get the Mac over there. Okay. Cylinder block assembly. Right ignition wires. Oh, I'm going to take that off first. Ah, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Aha! Okay. Now... Okay, but... I shouldn't have to take off the cylinder block assembly to do the spark plugs. Oh, there we go. It's a squeaky spark plug right there. Okay, now we got the spark plugs. I'm assuming I'm replacing them. Yep. Uh, only one of them was damaged? Oh. Alright, fair enough. I guess I should have inspected them. <laughs> Oh, 
much is about to come for... Oh. Uh, it's getting close. They keep teasing it, so sometime soon, I would imagine. Spark plug wires back up. There you go. Alright, now we gotta put the bottom engine cowling back in. I think I have to refuel the engine, right? Or the, the engine. Refuel the aircraft. Uh, yeah, so we check the spark plugs. Gotta refuel the aircraft. Jokey. Yeah, drive away. All right, you got your spark plugs all fixed. past the halfway mark on toward our 500. I'm really curious what happens when I get to the other level. Maybe you get different aircraft or something? Yeah, I think you get the hurricane once you get all the way to the top. Nice. I don't think you get the Spitfire. Well, that's lame. Maybe eventually, someday. Right after takeoff, we were hit by a bird. Oh, <laughs> Alright, Scully. Um, luckily, we were able to land safely. Please fix the damage and check the compression legs. The landing was rough. Well, whose fault was that? I uh, replaced the front windscreen, replaced the propeller, and replaced the compression legs. Okay. You get the bird guts out. Yeah, right? Goodness. Alright, well, let's start with the compression struts. I think we have to do this. One, one compression strut. Oh, no. Oh, could I take it off without taking the wheels off? <laughs> ah! Apparently. Alright, well, that would have saved me some time. Okay. Alright. Uh, Let's see, are those repair. Wait, stop that. I'm so used to, uh,. Commands from Car Mechanics Simulator. I keep trying to hit the wrong buttons. Alright, can we repair? No. So, we will buy new compression struts. There we go. I'd be thankful you're not having to deal with bungee cords. I know, right?
Let's try out those new compression struts. what I was doing. Windscreen, so compression legs are done. Oh, propeller and windscreen, okay. Oh, what'd you do to my beautiful propeller? That, you jerks. Okay. Pretty sure this is not repairable. <laughs> A little wood glue and a little, a little spit shine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's make sure this isn't damaged in the process. Now we'll kick it. Alright. Just double check. I don't want to get written up for not, uh, not doing what I'm supposed to. ourselves a new propeller and windscreen let's see here oh look at that it's bloody even <laughs> that's cool guess they have the feathers trying to do front windshield Screen, all done. Cool. Finally, didn't have to refuel the dump thing. No. Yeah, I made that announcement on uh, the last stream on Saturday that we wouldn't be streaming this last weekend. So, sorry if you missed that, Kelsey. Oil filters, fuel filter, and refuel the aircraft. Okay. Oil filters over here. And it is right there. No, no, no. Oh, the oil filter's pristine. Okay. Fuel filter it is damaged. Okay. Okay. Can we repair it? Uh, yes. Smaller, smaller. Repair it by adding oil. Yes! Good. I got it! I finally... I know, right? <laughs> hey, in the 40s, that's all you had to do. <laughs> I finally got one, though. Sweet. It's a major award. I won it. All right. 
Let's Yay! Check the oil filter. There's your first part. That's right. Woohoo! All right, and we got to refuel the aircraft. But let's go ahead and mark off the. We check the that oil filter. Be an accomplishment. Wait a minute. Check the oil filters. There's two. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Ein Minuten better. We may not be done so easily. Uh, maybe it includes the pressure filter as an oil filter. It probably does. So let's. Yep. Mm-hmm. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. And okay, so we're gonna have to open this one up too. Let's see if I can get to this without taking the entire thing apart, though. This time. Well, or not. Second part restored. Booyah. Mother would be so proud. All right. Booyah. Uh, I shoved the. Oh, sh I was shoveled the driveway for dead, and it was not easy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so glad I don't live in snow country. I gotta say, no. Wimp. Darn tootin'. <laughs> Just wait till you have to fly through it. Yeah. Well. Uh, let's see. Put you back in. Close you up. Boom. Put you back in. Up. There we go. Alright, and I think I have to refuel it too, right? Yeah, so check oil filters, that's done. I gotta refuel the aircraft. been refueled. close. It's 43 feet per second and... Military six. aircraft the only thing this says right now? Uh, yeah, because cool, you're working for the RAF, so, yeah. Again, I don't know if they'll expand it. I'm hoping they will at some point. We'll see. Check pistons and rings. Oh, we gotta break this one down. Alright, this'll be fun. 
A good way to get access to pistons is remove the entire cylinder assemblies. To do this, press and hold the left mouse button on the assembly for about a second, and then remove the highlighted screws. Okay. Alright, so refuel the aircraft and piston ring. Okay, got it. Just get a hammer. I know, right? Just put <laughs> Sorry guys, this aircraft's out of service. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna remove the but entire assembly. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, Sean, you can go ahead and eat. It's gonna take a while now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sun out of my face. <laughs> I think that was the first world war. Ha! Alright, let's disconnect the ignition wires. I could take the entire cylinder block assembly? Wow. I have to take this though. Yeah, pull the exhaust. Yeah. Then you gotta uh, disconnect the uh, cylinder from the crankcase. Right. Not to mention the spark plugs. Uh, there oh, there's a bottom screw in there. Yep. Oh, Sean, by the time he gets done here, we can go out for breakfast. That's right. Gypsy moth, isn't it? Uh, this is a tiger moth. Tiger moth, okay. I wonder what modern plant mechanics simulators like. You've dumped the laboratory tanks. <laughs> Macadie. I know. I really hope they uh, do a modern, uh, a, a modern one eventually too. That'd be really cool. Actually, uh, dumping the labs is a tad trickier than you think it is. I'll bet it is. Wouldn't it be fun if they simulated how you get that wrong? <laughs> All right, there's the carburetor, induction pipe. Check the ones over here on that last one. <laughs> Good thing I got the right side. That's hilarious. Oh lord. Whoops. That yeah, pilot's probably dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Hold it down. Whoa. That's cool. Wait a minute. 
You know, if if I look what you did, you trapped. Oh, check it out! I just left the piston in there and just took the assembly off. That's cool. All right. <laughs> oh look, now I can check the pistons in the rings. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, so what all was that? Was I just checking the ring, pistons, and rings? Okay. So three. Check the piston is damaged. That's gonna be fun. All right. Ring one is damaged. Ring two is damaged. Probably all damaged. Okay, so I guess it says there's three of them in there. There we go. They're all damaged. Okay. Cylinder one is is worthless. Okay. Good to know. Oops. Don't do that. You know, if I had done this game, I can only imagine. Every, every, every time you failed, a column of smoke appears at the end of the uh, runway. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Well, this that piston is fun. extended. That's cool. This is a uh, Trump piston. Look at that golden piston. <laughs> All right, rings good. Rings good. This reminds me of doing this to my Saturn, although not nearly as quick. Oh. Or clean. Or clean, that's true. What's going on down here? No. Wait, why? Why is this one? No, they scavenge the oil out of the cylinders when they're down like that. Maybe, but I thought the other ones have these things on them too. Hydraulic lock. Yeah. I guess I have to take these off. Fancy. No. Say so like combing. No. I know, right? Okay, what is your. What's that horrible noise? Oh, I took the, the plug out. Okay. No, stop doing that. So, way to do the entire assembly, I thought. Okay, hang on. You have to hold the thing to. Yeah, hang on. Mouse down, right? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, see, they came off with these, so that can't be right. So what? what's the deal here? What, what am I, oh, do I have to take this cover off? Maybe. That might be the problem. In fact, that probably is the problem. Yep, that was it. It just falls to the ground. I know, right? Kakonk. Replace those two. Exactly. All right, let's take this one off while I'm at it, and then we'll check the two pistons. I did something similar to that on the helicopter, taking the rotor blades off. Oh yeah. Piston. I was helping a metal smith, and he got called off. He told me to just go buy the um, cards that they had. So oh, I'm taking out the boat that he pointed out and that was specified on the card. Took the last boat out, the blade fell to the ground. <laughs> Whoops. Ouch. Ouch. The only reason why I did not get in trouble is nowhere in the cards or said to, to put the blade in a sling to prevent it from falling. Ah. Oh, that nobody saw yet. <laughs> Oh, everybody saw it. Look, when the blade crashed to the ground. All right, we're gonna it was not a Blackhawk, was it? No seeking. Oh, okay. Because Blackhawk's got those goofy rotor blades that if you smack them up, the, the tattletale will go off. What are you doing? Taking the, uh, the, basically the, what they call the engine cover, what normally called the, uh, the crankcase cover here off. Because I gotta get this piston out. This piston's bad. So I gotta unbolt oh, it up okay. here. Oh, okay. So you gotta, yeah. Take it off. Great. Yeah, you gotta take the bolts off to get the piston out. Exactly. Well, breakfast is good. How are we going to do for lunch now, John? <laughs> There's that one there, too. I want 
much else did I miss? That there. Ow. Oh, I see. Once I do the nuts, then I gotta take all the. Oh, wow. Good grief. Okay. Boy, it'd be nice if they had to make you put those back on in the right sequence. Right? Torque? Who needs torque? Exactly. The Bruins are in California right now. They're playing San Jose tonight. Oh! The Sharks. Probably flown there by Delta Airlines. Okay, so now... Alright, kid, him, kid, him. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Woo! There's a billion volts for this thing. Oh, probably just these top ones, so huh? that would make sense. Or not. I think you should have them, like, if they're painted sh solid, oh, welded in position. All right. There we go. Oof. Man, a couple of coats of uh, Loctite. Exactly. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> where's the gasket? Yeah, where's the gasket? Okay, why can't I do- oh. Well, what the- are you kidding me? Seriously, you're supposed to take it off from within the thing? Oh yeah, that's realistic. You could never be able to do that. This would- you would take this off there and it would drop down. I've done this, I know. <laughs> Alright, we got our piston off. Hallelujah. Um, let's see. Whoops. Can't have a hole there, mate. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't mind the hole. Mind the gap. Alright. Mind the gap. Alright. Alright, so we need our rings and we need our piston. Probably quicker just to order a new motor. Right? <laughs> you would think. All right, so let's see here. Assembly mode. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, thank God. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, I guess that did it for me. Okay. No, it's... no, it didn't. Put that back, you jerk. It's a new three-cylinder motor. Yeah, right. It's a Geo Metro. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ah, we got it. Okay. I wish I had a Geo Storm. I love driving that car. Geo Storm. Nice star pattern. Thank you. <laughs> and what about the gasket? Uh, apparently, we don't use gaskets in the forties. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Unlimited oil. <laughs> exactly. That's why they have that giant oil bowser over there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> the trick here is going to be knowing I got them all in so it doesn't, like, reset this when I'm done. Yeah, now there should be some sort of visual indicator. Yeah, right? Alright, so I think that one, those two, that one. A tap overhaul. Yeah. So you have to screw the bolt with... Heavens. I know, that's what I was talking about. You had to undo all the nuts, and then you had to undo all the bolts off the top. It was insane. The nut job. <laughs> yeah, it's something. <laughs> Alright. Start calling you goober. Goober was a very excellent mechanic. That one on? Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, so I think that's all of them. 
Best I can tell. I'm gonna be really pissed if I do this right now and it oh thank god, okay. <laughs> that was I'd be super angry if that didn't go back in. Okay. Alright, piston ring. Piston ring. Piston ring. And a piston ring. Piston ring. Piston ring. back on. Get spark plugs and nuts he took off on the rear engine facing which yeah I know yeah this one's missing its spark plug I put that one back so there's the ignition wires for this side wire 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 and wire you got one or two uh, spark plugs per cylinder on this plane what was that the one or two spark plugs per cylinder on this plane uh two which I didn't realize when I did the spark plug job earlier. I saw these and just did those. And I'm amazed I didn't miss, like, there was thankfully only one bad one and it was on the side I checked. <laughs> Sometimes the pilots get lucky. That's right. All right. Watch make all the mistakes and... Exactly, then come by behind me and win the game. Puzzle back together. Yeah, I yeah, came. You were right. There's three switches above there. One's for the electron on the X plane King Air. One's for yeah. the electronic HSI, and the other two belong to the cabin pressurization system. They got to yeah, be the on ones. too. Yeah. So the dump is up there, and then you've got the two uh, bleed air valves on the. Uh, Right side, uh, lower panel. Sun's in a nasty spot. You think that would be on the checklist somewhere? It is. I'm not on the default one, maybe on the Coronado one. I was talking about the real one. Okay, there's no way that that, there should be a... That's probably what you pay in real life, huh? Or have? That was the first plane I flew. First turbine plane I flew for the air service. Oh, okay. That did go in. Air oh. service, one. Talking about Air Force or? Oh, no, 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 still inside. Before I went to the airline, I flew for an air taxi service. Okay. When I was the uh, avionics technician in the Navy. So. This is why they had to remove the rotor blades. <laughs> yeah, right? Sounds about right. 
Right. Yeah, I was the helping the metalsmith and never volunteer. <laughs> That's what the Navy stands for. Never again volunteer yourself. <laughs> We almost got this guy put back together. But I did like what my teeth said about it when, you know, said never have a technician do a mechanic's job. Really hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> Although we can just check our inventory, see if we have any spare parts. I guess that would be good. Inventory. All right, doesn't look like it, so I think we're okay on that front. Um, what else were we supposed to do? We we're supposed to refuel it. Yeah. All right, we check the pistons and the rings. Let's refuel the aircraft. No spare parts. What's wrong? I know, right? Hey, whenever I fixed my Saturn, I always had spare parts. It's like winning the lottery. Be in the black market. Yeah, right. Sell them to the Germans. Do, 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 do. Absolutely, Kelsey. Da, da, da. There you go. There we go. She's refueled. Whether she flies is another matter. <laughs> uh, it'll fly all right, like a rock. Okay. This could be the end of my career right here. <laughs> okay. No! What? <laughs> what? Top what engine cover? Say? What top engine cover? I got... There's only two... The top engine cover. That stupid giant billion... Screw thing, something was missing. Oh my gosh. And a cylinder head, what? You lied when you, ugh, okay. Told you. I, I did it though, what you talked about I did. Don't forget the spark plugs and nuts you took off on the rear of the engine facing the wind screw. Wait, there were, what did I take off back there? I don't remember taking off anything back there. Back end? All right, well, that's lame. God, I should have gotten way more points for that. Ah! Crap into shag. Some tasks have a time limit. What, are the Germans coming? Yes, he did have spare parts. Yeah, well, no, it, it, it wasn't about spare parts. It was just certain screws weren't all the way in, apparently. Uh, oh, okay, there's the time limit. Um... If you fail to complete the job within this your pilot will miss his next mission, which will harm our chances of promotion, not to mention the war effort. Yes, definitely the promotion's the bigger issue. While starting up the engines, I notice that it doesn't uh, react when I switch the left magneto off. Make sure it's fixed by 12 o'clock. Alright. Not sure what that time says, but okay. Coming soon to Mustafa, crew mechanic assistant. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, we gotta go fast in this one, so Magneto is a problem. So I know, he said the left Magneto, so it should be the guy over here, that would be that guy. Three, damage, yes, good, okay. And it comes off how? Ooh, that's cool looking. Ah! Get, 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 get. Is this repairable? 
Ah, it is. Oh, gosh. Ooh, yeah. Barely. <laughs> No, you stupid thing. <laughs> oh, that's why I won't do that. Again. I'm not confident I got both of those. <laughs> there are two up there. Okay, screw this. Yep, I did not. That was that was a wise move. No, I don't want to put that back, you jerk. Okay. There we go. Now it's back. That's cool, they had a time limit though, that's awesome. Alright, now we're talking, get closer to that uh, 500, magic number. Magic number! Place all worn parts in the engine, oh my gosh. Take the engine apart and fix all worn parts, oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. <laughs> so, huh. I have to check like every single thing then. These technically aren't parts of the engine though, so I don't know that. No, dang it. See, are you, Macadie, are you talking about these guys back here? Because I, I put those back, unless I took, this. I don't remember taking anything here off, though. Oh, maybe it was these two. I wonder if those guys go all the way through. Maybe that's what it was, because I don't remember taking anything. I put these guys back all around the side here. But, who knows. Who knows. That's what I get for playing in expert mode, I guess. I'm gonna ask him for it.
Okay, so it's an inspection, so we gotta check a whole bunch of this stuff here, so... That's fine. Cover's fine. Spark plug damaged. Damage spark plug. Another damage spark plug. It's just covers, so if I found a lot of good that's gonna do check that. Uh, let's see here. Exhaust pipe, induction pipe, ignition wires are damaged, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. It's already been checked. Nothing to check there. That's fine. Oil filter is fine. Timing gears unit is good. Left magneto, good. Ah! Pressure filter, good. Right, oh, fuel filter, good. Where's the right magneto? There you are. Okay, right magneto's okay. So we got ignition wire problems and some spark plugs. What so about far. the ignition wire on the other side? I just did it. Just did it. Uh, question is. Wait, why didn't that... Oh, there we go. Okay, that mechanism is fine, so I'm going to put that one there. That way I can take these off as assemblies if I can. Oh my gosh, there's more to it than just that. Yankees. Oh my gosh, all these individual things. It's going to take bloody forever. Okay, in that case, new plan. Valve. Damage push rod. Okay. So, in that case, we're not going to want to take those off as assemblies, because we've got to deal with all those things, huh? Okay, get up close and personal with this thing. Is 
there another bolt? Oh, there you are. No. Stop tell don't tell me no. It's rude. How do I take out the push rods? How do I no. take out the push rods? Oop. Hang on. Really? I have to take those out in order to do. Okay. Alright, fair enough. From the top, more likely. I guess. And they should come out. This is technically the top. Because <laughs> they interact with the, uh, the the cam down there, so. But, yeah, whatever. Just, oh. Wait, what? I have to get them from underneath, that's weird. Uh, I'm super confused. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm in assembly mode, right? Yeah. Oh, it's taking those off. Why would I be taking those off? That's not going to do me any good. Alright, well, let's take the exhaust pipe off. Maybe that's part of it. Take it off as a oh, oh! I see the entire cylinder head comes off. Okay. Oh, you do still have to take all that off to get them out of there. Okay. Goodness. What are you yelling about? No. Oh. wrong now what are you there should be nothing holding this on at this point <laughs> it came off before what's on the menu tonight um well i think we're i'm going to colorado grill but we'll see that remains to be seen all right okay well goody 
so looking forward to this. <laughs> Uh, this one's not timed, thank goodness. I got that one done real fast. Okay, I'm gonna do this on the section so I can remember what all I'm taking off of this one. <laughs> I know, right? I have to just take the entire thing apart. Yeah, cigarette lighter's broken. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> well, this is a this is a engine a, a, a main engine check. Apparently, is what they're wanting to do. So you you do have to kind of check everything. So. Inspect and replace is necessary. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so then it should be these guys here. Uh, D. Miller V23 now following. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the madness that is playing Mechanic Simulator, which is actually pretty stinking fun. So. Alright. So there's that. Okay, so now can I take the push rods out? No. Oh, I gotta take the cam oh, camshaft. And I do that how? <laughs> uh huh. Good question. Don't know. I would think it would come out the front there. I wonder if I have to... Oh, you know what? I probably have to take this timing thing out. Well, no, it's not saying I'd... Bonus points if you can name the German fighter pilot who had a uh, cigar lighter put into his uh, ME 109. <laughs> I do not know. Okay. Ah, whoa, what the? Just went into some weird mode. What the heck just happened? That was weird. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll wait on that then, I guess. Can I take the... Uh, I don't get what you're yelling at me about here. It's like the inner wall, the cylinder barrel, okay. For some reason I can't disconnect that. Ah, oh, crankshaft bearings coming out. For some reason, <laughs> you jerk. You missed the one on the front. What are you talking about? It's right there. It's gone. Uh, okay. 
You had those cylinder walls out before. I know. I think it, apparently you can take them out as an assembly, but once you start disconnecting them individually, you gotta like take more stuff off to get to them or something. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure I understand the logic. This is why I couldn't take the camshaft out. Maybe. Well. <laughs> really? Okay. Do I seriously have to take the crankshaft out in order to get the camshaft out? Let's try this then. Oh, I know. Yeah, okay. I, I got it. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. No, stay over there. your face. Head gas going to the cylinder to be removed. Uh, well, not on this one there's not, because the head's already gone. That's the, uh, the thing that's, that's yelling at me is the, um, oh, I th oh, well, maybe you're right. Hang on. There is a head gasket. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, I was I kept looking at the cylinder barrel. And going, what the heck? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, D. Miller. Oh my gosh. Good grief. All right. Go back over. Give me those stupid things. Okay. All right. Let's take the... Take the sparks out. I knew you had those off before. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know. I mean, when it comes to actual mechanics, yeah, the head gasket wouldn't prevent anything, obviously, but yeah, no, they, they want its protection so you don't put stuff back without it. We'll be able to sign off on the engine overhaul on this one. That's right. I actually like how they've done this because in Car Mechanic Simulator, you know, you could basically like float through parts and stuff. If I get too close to these, I can't 
get around them without going underneath them. So they're actually in my way, which is awesome. Makes it a little more realistic there. Yeah. rings. No. No. Don't tell me no. I don't like I don't like that word. No. Yep, this one was a, a complete engine overhaul inspection, so we got to tear it completely down to its roots. Yep, get, get over here, you jerk. Behind the team speed Yeah, exactly. Okay, now can we take the crankshaft out? And now I'll bet we can take out. Maybe not. Okay, what is. It says I can take it out, but I don't see what it's waiting for unless I have to take him out up here. There's nothing to take out up there. Whoop! Oh! Something. What just disconnected? I don't know what that was, but something just went. Is there a camshaft uh, bolt holding that thing in? Yeah, right there in the front. Well, no, I got. Oh, there's three little bolts. That's what's doing it. Okay. It's a little camshaft cover. Ah! And now I'll bet I can pull the push rods. Yep, okay. Ha ha! Yeah, right here. Alright. So now, I think I've taken apart everything I can take apart. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is removable. <laughs> that is one stripped down engine right there. Whoops, no, no, don't do that. Alright, let's see what of all I can repair of this. Probably a number of things. Really? None of it? Repairable yes, so why can't I if that's repairable Oh but it's fine, that's why, okay. One of three. So, but they're fine. So basically everything that is damaged is not repairable. Okay, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so we have one valve, one right ignition wires, three spark plugs, and a push rod. Goodness. Alright. Let's see if we can't put this thing back together again. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Okay, and M shaft. Alright, cam is back in place. Crank shaft. Don't miss anything. I know, right? I'm gonna be super careful not to. Okay.
crankshaft bearings going back in. thing in first. Timing gear unit. Magneto. Alright, Miss, I'm back from my little babysitting job. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I feel uh, like... Oh, that's... It's pretty easy, because the kids were asleep, so I pretty much just got paid to watch YouTube. Nice! Best kind of job right there. Alright, magnetos are in. Fuel filter is back in. The uh, certified aircraft can look after this. What was that? It'd be a certified aircraft mechanic after this one. I know, right? Alright. Let's get our piston rings back on. Because I can put it on right now, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Head ga oh, okay, we should probably do it from the back first. Head gasket, head gasket, head gasket. Cylinder head. So I'm in a job and it says to fix the propeller and then in my inventory it says it's fine. The propeller? Yeah. Really? Isn't the propeller? Oh, make sure it's probably not the propeller itself. I think I had that one too. It's actually like the, the um, thing the propeller mounts to. Yeah, wait till you get to the job I'm on right now. Holy crap. <laughs> I found it, yeah. No, I've downloaded it. I haven't started the sim yet. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a good price right now. Five bucks. Put the 
cover back on here. Yeah, my main focus is getting it. Uh, situation files for uh, X plane mm. and ready for the Great Australian Air Rally. Gotcha. How you doing there, Kevin? Hey, Kevin. I guess he's in the chat. He is, yeah. Sean, how long have you had X plane? Yeah, I have X plane. He said, how long? Um. Since it came out in beta, actually X nine is how far back I go. But X plane eleven is a giant leap. Doing well, Kevin. Thanks for asking. Glad you're doing well. Let's stick that thing up there. Okay, There's some wires down below. I always felt like playing 11 and had the air aircraft model spot on. But their scenery that comes with the air comes with the sim was extremely lacking. But uh, when they went to playing 11, they made giant leaks in the scenery area. They got a long way to go to match uh, uh, how far or um, <laughs> SSX, but yeah, it's uh, Kevin. That's Sean that was saying hi to you. By the way, he forgot your name. <laughs> and Kevin coming in with a subscription, and I'm realizing the wrong screen, so I can't see what it says. <laughs> Come on, load up. Hello, Kevin. Say it again, Mustafa. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Thank you for the two yeah, months, it's sir. It's actually the same. I'm sorry, Moose. No, nope, no, nope, you're fine. Yeah, it's spelled the same way as Sean Connery spells it. That's all right. You got the pronunciation right, so. Alright, make sure all these are on, because I think one of these was our problem last time, but I think they're all there this time, so that's good. Gotta get the exhaust pipe on here. Double oh seven. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Every time I see the, the phrase hello there, Bob and Tom had a had a thing about some comedian from way back in the day, and that was his little sh thing. It was, just, it was the way he said it too. It was like, hello there! And that's all I hear whenever I see that now. It cracks me up. Hey, David. Alright, are we all on this time? Yes, looks like we are. Sure I'm not missing anything right there. I don't think so. I think we got all that. Time for the top cover. This is the evil one. All right. I'm gonna do it methodically. One side at a time. Make sure we don't miss anything. I did. Oh, rude. Did you get two new aircraft? Uh, no. Did you? No. Oh. I think you're going to have to get to that 500 points to get first class before that happens. I'm really close. This job, if I do it right, should put me there, I think. Those 
things wrong. here. This is actually a pretty fun game. Right? It doesn't look like it would be fun, but it actually kind of is. Oh, that guy's hiding right there. Okay. Alright, so that tells me I've got them all. That showed up. covers over things it makes me nervous because I can't see if I miss something. <laughs> Fuel filter, the magnetos are all there. I think we're good there. Top cowling. Screw, 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 screw. Front cowling is screw, 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 screw. V Center called me 2809 when I'm 2801. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> I'm about. I'm going to dream about you screwing in the bolts all right now. <laughs> yeah, probably. And put you back in. Okay. You know what I should do? Check the oil. Oh, it's full. Okay. Well, if I hadn't done that, it would have been empty, I'm sure. But did you, do you actually find No, you don't. You just fix them. I'm just the mechanic in this one. Go away, Mr. Oil Level Indicator. I guess not. Okay. Replace all worn parts of the engine. Okay, that's all I was supposed to do. I think we've done that. Did you get the cap on all the way? The what? Oil cap? Did you get it on all the way? I believe so, but I will double check because that's a good point. Maybe that's why it's doing that. Get the check engine light on. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah, it appears to be on. I don't know why it's getting me. Okay, there. There we go. No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Don't take it all apart again. There we go. Okay. There we go. I think we're good. Let's hope. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Yes! If you only give me like 20... Seriously? All that and I got like 20 points. You jerk! <laughs> I really want to see what happens if I get to that big level up there. I should have put you over. I would have thought. Okay, check the undercarriage, refuel the aircraft. Alright. Well, this is easy. I don't have to take the entire engine apart for this one. 
Watch, this will get me over the edge, but the other one won't. Uh, space. got here. Wheels fine. Damage compression leg. Uh, that compression leg's fine. What about this wheel here? Oh, we got a bad wheel and a bad compression leg on each side. Okay. Alright. Well, we can deal with that. I'm an expert now. I know just enough to be dangerous. And come around here. Stop it. Just want to make sure I can't do... Okay, no. It's funny, they don't have wheel bearings there to check? Uh, it's the 40s. They didn't believe in bearings yet. They just uh, killed a pig and rubbed it up against the wheel every now and then. Parable? No. Okay. Wheel cap, wheel... Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, it's good. All right. Let's go buy our new stuff. I love all the dirigibles up there. I'm at 267. What'd you say, Tim? They're called barrage balloons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't forget to check that tail speed, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good call. Good call. Check all spark plugs. Oh, God. <laughs> Tail skid too while you're at it. Yeah, that's what Sean just said. And it's a good thing he did because I probably would have forgotten. <laughs> yeah, make sure you grease it so it slides to the grass easier. That's right. Remember that the first time I remind you. Oh, I know you would think. If you sign something different, can you claim fraud? I know, right? I started drawing. A, I drew a picture of a moose one time. I'm a crazy person again. It's funny. <laughs> All right, this thing wasn't repairable, right? No. Didn't think so. Tail skid. And ah! there. Figure out that that's my signature, I dare you. Not even gonna ask. <laughs> Pharmacy school dropout. That's right. Is that what you drew? <laughs> Not that time, but you know, I did draw a moose once. It was a pretty ugly moose, but you know. But then so am I. And <laughs> Is that on there? I think so. Yes. Okay. And I think we had to refuel it. That's why that guy's there. If I recall correctly. Yes. Alright. Back to the refueling operation. Bum ba dum ba dum. And that. 
you did Modern Airline, you'd have like 10 minutes of work and about 45 minutes of paperwork. Yeah, exactly. It's probably why they chose the uh, World War II stuff. It's like, eh. The Dash ones. That's right. Fueled up. You are ready to go fight no the Germans. No job done in the paperwork, then. Mark of the Moose. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't you do it. Yes! Yes, we made it. Woohoo! Promotion, aircraftman first class. Mustafa, skill points three. All right. Yeah, that... I'm happy I waited up for this. Whoa, what the heck did I do? Okay. I guess I... Oh, do I get to pick a skill point? Yay! Okay. All right, so early one assist. Oh, I get an assistant. Allows you to automatically remove two screws at a time. Ooh. Uh, what is this? Mason spent with specialist knowledge about individual parts. The on-site repairs will be much easier now. Okay. And early start, you convince the pilot to fill out his report faster than, <laughs> than others, so that you have five more minutes to work on the aircraft. That's funny. Um, I think I will go. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with this one to begin with. Oh, actually, I can do a month. I have three skill points, so I can do all three of them. That's cool. Well, dude, we'll confirm that. Oh, what was this? A good perception. Wait, give me that one back. That one means less to me. A good perception combined with detailed knowledge of aircraft systems allows you to spot faults twice as fast as other mechanics. Oh, I see. Well, fine then. We'll do that. Confirm. Yeah, look at that. Wicked good guy, getting the faster inspection is so helpful. Yeah, I'll bet. It sounds like a bad horror movie. Wait, what does? This time you're required to fix the aircraft. It's still a tiger moth. Look on the hole, on a hole in the patch. All bullet holes? <laughs> oh, bullet holes? What are you doing getting shot at? What do you think this is, a war? Where are the bullet holes? Let's see if I can find them. Are they in the wing? Oh, oh, hello. Bend outwards. Oh, dang. Now you just need to apply the patch. Switch to install mode and click on the patch code. Oh. Metal screen, you also need to rivet the patch in place. In this case, our patch is glued to the fabric and is required. Okay. Alright, well, that was cool. Uh, there's probably one on the other side then, I'm guessing. Yep. Let's get, whoop, let's get that one from the other way. That's cool. Any uh, up top that I need to be concerned with? I didn't say you didn't hit anything structural. Yeah, I know, thank goodness. Well, the pilot would probably be dead at that point, though. Alright, I don't see any other... That's not a bullet hole, so okay. So we didn't get the actual aircraft. What else was I doing? Oh, refuel. All right, we patched the bullet holes. So it won't let you actually check it off until you got everything? Oh no, I think you can check it off anyway. Uh, it just will... So, in, in expert mode, um, you have to check it. In, in easy mode, it checks it when you're done. I'm taking off the windshield, and there's a hole with the board stain on it. Yeah, I know. That was what the bird hit it? I hope. Yeah, it is. The bird. 
Okay, but in expert mode, it'll let you check it off if you missed it or uh, missed one. I believe so. So you gotta make sure only only check them if you are done with them. I gotta go to a thousand. Leading aircraft, man. Goodness. When do we get different aircraft? When you get the, the Spitfire, you'll want the piston inspection skill because those V12s are a lot of piston rings and so not having to check one at a time. We're still on Tiger Moth, so. Alright, I need to go get dinner. This has been fun, though. I'm gonna be playing this more often because this is cool. And it sounds like a few of you got it, too, so you should have fun with that. So, thanks for uh, coming along and checking this out with me. I'm gonna. We'll right. catch you later, Moose. We'll be uh, with you uh, Thursday night. I've got. Catch you later, I'm, Moose. I'm speaking at uh, Women in Aviation or something. I don't know. Oh, interesting. All right. Yeah. Whatever. What, what are you doing? Again. What are you doing speaking at? You're not a woman, or are you? Uh, I got invited. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Yeah. So we'll be. We'll, we should be on Thursday and Friday as per normal, and then. Goodness, uh, and then um, Saturday is going to be the the airline challenge that we're doing with uh, with Captain Tim. So uh, right. you're happy, you're uh, welcome to uh, participate in that. In fact, I would welcome that. Uh, wicked good guy, thank you for the follow. By the way, thank you. Um, and we're we probably will start a little bit earlier because of the nature of that too. So uh, probably uh, eight or nine my time. Uh, so that would be. Um, that's like seven o'clock my time. How? No, no, you're in my time. my time. Yeah, you're 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 two hours the other way. <laughs> so I don't want to hear any complaints. The only people that can complain are the people in Pacific, and even then, I'm not starting like at six. So um, I'll talk to Tim though. We'll confirm that, and uh, and we'll figure that out during the week. Tim, have a good flight to Anchorage. Should be uh, okay. exciting. Wear your uh, wear your warm clothes. <laughs> we'll go. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, Thursday. And uh, in the meanwhile, we might even do this again Thursday. Who knows? Yeah, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna pass you up in the thing. Yeah, you game. do. You do that. I may. I may play this later this evening when I get back from dinner. So off stream. So we'll see about that. <laughs> Good luck when you get to the full engine teardown. That's a fun one. So. Uh, so, but you have some po stuff posted in Discord. Yes. Um, this week I will work on translating some of the. Uh, uh, specifics of the challenge just to give you guys an idea of how that's going to work in Discord. So if you guys want to join me for that and you want some advanced info on that, that'll be where to go to look for it. I'll post that um, uh, later, a little later this week. Uh, but yeah, Saturday will be the uh, the airline challenge. It will be involving the 737. Uh, we just have to keep it because Tim can only dispatch, you know, one type of aircraft at a time. So um, that's why we're doing it that way. So so make sure you've got the 737 to do that. So. And it shouldn't matter. It should be fine if you if you're flying X plane and doing the Zebo. It should be just as good as doing a PMDG, uh, in uh, in the in P3D or X plane so, or uh, so, FSX. So what are some like what's an example of one of the challenges? So the idea is to fly. We're going to try and fly a line schedule. So it's going to involve a, a few different flights throughout the day, dispatched by Tim. And you get points for completing on time, uh, fuel burn, um, efficiency, all, all those kind of things. But there's certain rules and stuff. You can't just fire up and go. You've got certain time constraints because you have to count for loading passengers and doing your briefings and stuff like that. So I'll give you more details in the Discord. It should be pretty fun. This is going to be our first trial of this. He did this with um, uh, It's Blake Bro, I think, uh, stream a while back. And so uh, we're going to try it. And see if we can make it a, a thing we do every so often. So, uh, Friday Night Ops is where? Good question. I remember looking at it, and I don't remember. I want to say it's Atlanta something, or maybe that was this last week. Um, where is Chrome when I need it? Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. There you are. No, not fantastic. I don't care about you. Vatsim, VatUSA.net. That's what I want. Uh, oh, it's it's my area. It's Los Angeles. It's Oscar night, 2019, ZLA. Uh, so yeah, we'll be in we'll be on the Pacific side of things for uh, for Friday Ops this week. So that'll be cool. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I will see you later. Have a good one, and we'll see you guys Thursday. Thanks for coming by. See you. See you.